Hey, I appreciate you for pausing in life to play this video. I appreciate the likes, the shares, the comments, the views, the discussions from the last hashtag, Blinding the Blind. So um, today I just want to talk about when I first realized that I was different. My first, my first memory when I realized I was different or when I realized that my vision wasn't like everyone else's. That was, uh, man, it was, it was young, you know what I mean? Um, you know, if, if you grew up with siblings, you know, uh, siblings always, you know, we talk about each other as siblings. That's what we do, brothers, sisters, you know, we, we talk about each other, the dirty dozens, you know what I mean? So, if not, if it wasn't school, I want to say it was, from from a dirty dozens conversation with me and my brothers, you know, uh, talking about each other, and they started talking about my eyes. You know what I mean? Uh, my my brothers or my cousins, it was somebody close to me. You know what I mean, I had to be probably like mm, three, four, or something like that. That's probably my earliest memory of ever hearing something being different with my eyes, you know, uh, that's, and what, what the joke was is, that's why you cockeyed, or that's why you cross-eyed, you know what I mean, and that's what I thought I was for a long time, because that's what the joke was, you know what I mean, you need to cross-eyed, and then cockeyed, or whatever, but when I realized what that was, you know what I mean, I, I that's not what I got, you know what I mean, I got a lazy eye, that's what people say, that I have a lazy eye, but, my vision has always been bad, and uh, over time it's, it's gotten worse. But when I was younger, it was at the best that I that I can remember. You know what I mean? It, it was never good, but it was at the best when I was the youngest. But I always had terrible night vision, so at night, you know what I mean, to, to see at, at well, I, I could somewhat see at night when I was younger, but I would see off you know, uh, off of my peripheral, so I look up like this. If y'all can see my eyes, I look up like this, looking for, looking at the item, you know, the item would be like where the camera is. If this was nighttime, <clears throat> I don't be where the camera is. And in order for me to see it, how y'all see it, I would have to look at it like this, you know what I mean? So I'm looking at it from my peripheral down here. But as my vision, as I got older and my vision faded, I, I still, well, I, I barely use my eyes. The reason I don't come on the camera with shades is because I want y'all to see me. You know what I mean? Uh, I try not to cover. I'm trying to get into the into the behavior of not covering my eyes or not covering my face when I do hashtag blind, lean the blind videos because for the sighted people, I do want them to see. You know, I, I do look like I have a vision disability if you pay attention to me. You know what I mean? Because people, you don't look blind, you don't look blind, but... I, I, if if I didn't have a cane or if I didn't have glasses on my face and a hat over my head, y'all would know something was wrong with my eyes. So yes, I am blind. <laughs> and my other memory, my, my first public memory, like I say, because that, that was like in the house, you know, within the family. So my first public memory, when I figured out that I was different, had to be at school because... Um, they had to give me different types of gadgets to see my my home, my schoolwork. No, that's not it. What made me realize that my vision was not like no one else, no matter how close I was to the board and the desk, I still couldn't see the chalkboard. Back in the day, if there is kids watching, back in the day we had chalkboards, you know what I mean? Actual chalkboards. Well, they have, well, I'm guessing y'all got whiteboards or y'all got... I don't even know if students use chalkboards or whiteboards these days, but yeah. So from my seat, I, you know, y'all know from the space, from the first, they usually have classrooms and, and rows from the first. I always had to be seated in the front row. And from the front row, I still couldn't see the chalkboard. I would have to be on the chalkboard to see the chalkboard. You know what I mean? So that was probably my first. When I, when I realized I couldn't see the chalkboard with glasses or without glasses, that's when I realized my vision wasn't like no one else's. And you can't, you can't explain that as, you can't articulate that as a kid talking to an adult. They just think you just don't want to wear your glasses, you know. 
but um and then I also uh like for the statewide test any type of statewide test I had to take in any of my literature books you know language arts math social studies uh science they was huge they was uh you know how they got magnified print on laptops and computers and stuff like that back in the day they didn't magnify the print they magnified the whole damn book i'm trying to think was my i, I bullshit you not my book was the size of a pillow all my textbooks they were side the size of your bedroom pillow just the standard size of it not the fluffiness of it the actual size of it because that's why i used to put my pillows in. that's why i used to put my books in i used to put them in my pillowcase you know what I mean? Because I didn't want my brothers to clown me when I brought the books home. Damn, look at these big ass books. You know what I mean? So I used to hide my pillow, my books in my pillowcases. So they was my books that I had to freaking carry around was the size of a bedroom pillow. And I had the math, science, social studies, language arts. I had all the topics. So that's how I knew that my vision was different. That's how I knew I wasn't like anyone else. And <laughs> The first time I ever, and if y'all want to know, if y'all want me to go into detail, because I'm finna wrap this up. The first time I ever met another person with my same, besides my, my, besides my dad, because that's who I get it from. The only other person I met with retinitis pigmentosa, I met him when I was grown. So all my life. All the way until I got the Chris Cole Rehabilitation Center, I never met anyone else with my eye disorder. So, you know what I mean? I didn't have no one to relate to. I didn't have no one to compare it to. That's why I had to do all my research myself. But this is just what I wanted to express to y'all, you know what I mean? When I first realized that I was different. And being different isn't, isn't, uh, isn't a bad thing. Being different is beautiful. It's unique, you know, and... Uh, before I close out the video, <clears throat> the reason why this came to mind is, is simply to say words are powerful as kids because the kid remembers, you, you'll be surprised. You don't have to be surprised. Just remember what you remember from a kid, your furthest back memory. You know what I mean? You'll be surprised what you can remember and what memories are suppressed. You know what I mean? And they come out at the wrong time, but words are so powerful so be careful especially to kids you know what i mean and kids are very impressionable so please you know y'all grown people that's watching this y'all grown you know what i mean i'm just uh i'm just another nigga talking to some people you know what i mean y'all ain't got to take my advice but just please you know what i mean watch what you say around the kids because little do you know kids is listening and kids pay attention to when when you think they're not paying attention so just please, please watch what you say around kids and just try not to be too traumatizing, you know what I mean? As a sibling, as a, a parental figure, as some type of figure in a kid's life with a disability, without a disability, you know what I mean? We try to be the best we can for the next generation. Please comment, please share. I appreciate you again for pausing in life to play this video. Till next time, keep it positive, keep it forward. Keep it safe.